Hey guys, welcome to Wellness in the Multiverse. I've tried to do this idea, not really, I mean, not groundbreaking idea, but I've tried to do this one for a couple times now. I think I, I recorded it twice and then I don't post it, I don't do anything with it and I delete it because it always feels like I'm bitching somehow on people. So I, I, I felt like I just needed to say right out the gate, that is not my goal. That is not my intent, you know? My goal is more to talk about uh, things that I've seen, things that I've heard that to me, you know, as someone who's fitness, health, well-being, mental, physical, all of that, is a high priority, what I've seen that to me doesn't make sense. And and I'll explain everything. Uh, but again, my goal is not to be the moderator of your life and be like, here's what you should do and what you shouldn't. You do whatever you want. At the end of the day, I'll be fit, I'll be fine, and everyone does whoever they are. And this is good to me. I don't, I don't care. It's just some stories, some things I've heard, seen, lived through that I just wanted to talk about to maybe give you some perspective into what happens when we don't prioritize our health or when we put other things in front of that. I'll explain. A couple of years ago, uh, this is like story number one, kind of. A couple of years ago, I had a client with whom we've tried a couple different approach and everything. And it was the online aspect of my coaching was fairly new. Uh, the business was fairly new. It was about five years ago. And the person just wanted to have a program. At the time, I was doing that. I was just like doing a program and here, good luck. That never worked, you know? So this is things number one and why the service exists as it is right now with accountability and, and all of that. We're gonna slowly transition things in the next couple of months, but anyway, this is why this exists is this because every person I just gave a program to would just never do it. So I gave him a program, obviously never did it. Then uh, I started the online coaching, but I started it as a group. You know, everyone has had the same program and everyone had access to uh, a call once in a while, you know, with a group call. I had to dissolve that because it's, again, uh, as of the group, people just tend to don't want too much to be part of a group somehow. So I dissolved it, but again, it didn't do it. And then we move into what the program kind of is. So it's more accountability, more of everything. We start, everything goes great, you know, does a workout, looks at his food, look at the calorie, look at the macros, look at everything, start losing weight because the goal was to lose weight. So starts losing weight, everything's going fantastic. Every time I talk to him, every week, I get a, this is great, it's working, it's awesome, I love it, I've, you know, it's, everything works, I just do it, it's great, blah, 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 this is great, that is great. I'm like, good Lord, we're, we're set forever, you know, it's never going to go because everything is just going so well. Now you see me coming. We're about a, eight weeks in, you know, and I don't do miracles, guys. I don't set everyone on four, eight weeks. There's, there's so much that comes with it that it takes time to do it. So anyway, we come to about a, eight weeks in, nine weeks in, whatever. And I'm like, how's it going? Everything. I need to stop. And I, the, the week before that, everything was awesome. So I'm just like, what? What's going on? You know? So like, oh, I need to stop because I, I, I bought a truck. And the payments of the trucks are high, so I will need to stop the coaching. I'm like, wait, you bought a truck, so you want to stop your 
fitness. The thing is, I know people. <laughs> I've done that for a while. I know when someone tells me I need to make a pause, I know what it means. I know they're never going to come back or I know it's a cop out or I know a bunch of stuff. I need to think about it as the same thing. If we are ever on a call together and you're like, well, yeah, sure, I need to think about it. I'm, I'm not waiting, <laughs> you know, I'm moving on. I know you're, you're not thinking about it. I know it's, it was like a way of saying no. And that's all right. I don't really care about it. It's fine. You know, you, you do whatever you want to do. But again, whenever he told me like, oh, you know, I bought a truck. I need to pause. I'm just like, yeah, no, you, you need to stop and you're going to stop. So he told me, oh, I'm just going to keep doing it on my own because everything's going great. Yeah, I did miracles. You know, I did, every, I did a miracle in eight weeks. You know, I got you for not doing anything to being like a fitness addict in about eight weeks. You know, and then that all it took was that. Sometimes, guys, it seems easy or easier, you know, when I'm, you know, with you and in it. And some people take that as a, oh, turns out it's easy and I'm good. You know, when I wasn't there, they weren't doing anything. Now that I'm here, they're doing it and it looks easy and it's just like, ah, and it could, I could stop. It's easy. And then it's just like, well, I'll keep going on my own. Again, I know people. I know who will, who won't, most won't. So I'm just like, well, what can I say? You know, good luck with that. So obviously what happens starts paying his truck. Great, pay your truck. And then about, you know, whenever you come on the, the program and on the service, you get access to an app when you're no longer on the program, on the service, you no longer have access to the app. You know, comes with me, I'm sorry. It's like Netflix, you know? If you pay Netflix, they're gonna give you access to what's on Netflix. When you stop paying Netflix, it's not like, here's what you add access to while you are on it, keep watching that, but we're not gonna give you access to the new shows. No, you just lose access to Netflix, you know? So it's kind of the same thing. So obviously I caught the access to the app, you know? But eight months later, I, get an email. Hey, I can seem to find, you know, the workout and have access to the app. I'm like, well, no, you stopped eight months ago. Cost me money to have you on the app. I'm just going to pay for you to just like not do it. I'm like, no. It's like, oh, it's because, you know, I went to my doctor and they told me like, I need to start working out it because I'm pre-diabetic now. And it's kind of getting on the danger zone. I'm like, great. Hope the truck's good. Hope the truck's going fine. And I just knew I couldn't help the person anymore. We've tried. We've done this. Wasn't ready to invest in his health. Truck was more important, you know, priority kind of situation. Truck here, health there, who cares? So I was just like, well, you know, you have emails that you had for, you know, what to do in the process and the food and everything. Bring back the bands and just, you know, Google a workout. There's nothing else I can do. So obviously that's that sucks uh, because I can't save the world. So this is one thing I, I figured out over time. Uh, there's people that that are going to succeed, and there's some that won't. And at some at this point, it's I'm alright with that. It's just you know part of the process. Then you know that's situation number one and. <laughs> Honestly, to me, that one was that one was one of the kind of the funniest of like, you know, left field situation of like I bought a truck, I can't focus on my health anymore, and then shit hit the fan. So that was one, um, and then a couple of years after that, you know, uh, I'll put my shoes back on. I don't know why I took my shoes off. I'm sorry. Give me a second here. So. I think a year or two after that doesn't matter. The, the situation always happens. I get on a um, on a you know sales call with a potential client, you know, and everything's great, everything's perfect, you know. Uh, service is like, yeah, that can help. I'm sure it will. Uh, everything's awesome with that. Blah blah blah. So I'm like, all right, great. It's it's going good. And then I. I'm not like excessively pricey. And even at the time, it was less so. So I was like, yeah, you just the price of it, you know? Okay, yeah, I just need to think about it. I don't know if I have the money to do that. I'm like, okay. 
And then turns out I know the person kind of, so I follow that person on Instagram. And then the next week, it's like trip to Europe, you know, uh, like the best restaurant, the best clothing, the best everything, the best of all, you know, honestly, probably like a six, seven, eight grand trip to Europe and you do you. That's all right. I don't care, you know, but priority matters. When you tell me I can't invest on my health because I have eight grand of a trip to Europe to put in, but I can't put like a couple hundred bucks towards my longevity, I'm just like, you just don't care about it, you know? So, and those, honestly, I've seen those happen many, many times over. Had a client, everything again, going great, does a workout, does everything, starts losing weight, everything's going fine. And then, oh, I need to stop, I don't have the money anymore. I'm like, huh? Yeah, you know, job, all of that, the situation of the world, kind of. And I'm like, all right, you know, what do you want me to do at this point? Like, keep, you know, I'm not trying, I'm not going to try and like keep the person in if they don't want to be there. So I'm just saying, well, would you want to do X, Y, and Z, focus on different type of service? Oh, no, I don't think I can either. I'm just like, okay, sure. And then, Next week, I see like a trip to Cuba. Week after that, like I've got the new iPhone. And a week after that, it's like Oceaga and like big festivals here in Montreal. And I'm just like, you didn't have a couple hundred bucks for your health, but two grand for a new phone. That's awesome. Uh, Three thousand to five thousand, most likely to a trip. That's awesome. Uh, and a couple thousand sorry there's a fly in here and a couple thousand dollars for you know festival that's awesome so priority guys please you know i'm not saying you need me as a coach i'm still saying you know i might be one of your cheapest option one of the best and cheapest option you can have because you know first i know what i'm doing um and second uh if you have looked at the service that exists in the world, you'll see that I'm a very cheap option. Not that I'm less good. It's just that I, right now, it's a place where I'm comfortable selling the service to. Right now, I have clients that tried to come back like years later and they were like, oh, you were doing it at that price at the time. I'm like, yeah, like three years ago. Uh, now it's this price. And you won't see me as often, you know? Oh, but can't you do it at the price that we had? No. If you were still on, I would. You would still have that because everyone who starts kind of is grandfathered into the price that they start with. But other than that, if you just come back months and years later, I'm sorry, I'm adjusting the price, you know? So this is how it is. This is just like, I'm sorry, it's kind of business. This is how I afford my life, guys. So... Yeah, so, you know, it's, it's, those are just like three, three quick examples of, I have many, many, many sales calls. And in this type of period, like July to September, it's more so where I get calls with, you know, potential clients that tell me that, you know, either they don't trust me and that's fine. If you don't trust me, it's all right. You know, you don't have to. There's many of me out online, find one that you trust. But they're just, you know, oh yeah, it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit pricey, whatever. I guarantee you, if you shop online, it's not. But they're like, yeah, it's a bit pricey, whatever. And I have vacations for the next three weeks. I'm going away there, I'm going away there, I'm going away there, but you know, again, health who cares you know so they never start they never do it or or maybe they do but if they do and they don't do it with me that's fine as long as they do it but i bet that they just don't because now you know priority oh i don't have money anymore of course you put a grand towards like a a travel i'm not saying not to travel and not to live your life and again you do you at the end of the day you know this is this is just to put things in perspective out of a year 
type of situation. Where do you put your money towards, you know? Because I've heard that, like, oh my God, like healthy food is so pricey. Like, well, not really, you know? But healthy food is so pricey. And then like, all right, what do you, what do you do on a, you know, weekly basis? Well, morning I do this. Usually lunch I go out with, with coworkers, like every lunch. Yeah, kind of. Uh, and then, you know, on the weekends I do that, but I have a brunch and then I have this and then I have that. I'm like, good Lord. And you tell me like healthy food is pricey when you're out on restaurants like seven times a week? I eat a whole week probably on two of your restaurants. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? So again, food, all of that, choices, priority. It's a quick one because I have a client coming. I hope it kind of helps. It's not to be like shitty about any situation. You know, every situation is different. It's just to make sure that you guys understand where your priorities should be. And your health should be one. Please, because later on, when you're 60, 70, and your health is too shit, but you still have like vacation money, you won't care. You won't care for it. You'll just be like, oh, I should have done it 35 years ago. Yeah, absolutely. So have a good day, guys. I uh, hope it kind of helps. Um, I'll post this one, even though it feels wrong again, but it doesn't matter. Um, hopefully, I shaped you know, one or two of you to kind of go onto your health journey and not, you know, a $10,000 trip. Or do both. If you have the money to put eight grand to a trip, you have the money to go to a gym. I guarantee you that. All right. Have a good day, guys. And I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to know more about how I can help you make fitness a sustainable lifestyle, you can reach out to me on any social media platform at Joe Gangi Trainer. Thanks again. Till next time.